So I've not done a video for a couple of days, but I thought I'd do a post bag video. So I've been looking on Pi Moroni's website, looking for RP2040 stuff, Pico based chips. I found several things. First one is this. It's a Badger, a Badger 2040. So let's have a look at that. Oh, this is a nice thing. All right, so this is a a badge. Maybe you could use it for techie shows. It's got an e-ink display on it. So this isn't a sticker of the screen. This actually is the screen. The screen is on. And the cool thing about e-ink is that when you put a picture on it, it stays on it and you don't have to have a charge or a battery to keep it on it stays on all the time so it only take power to change what's on the display so obviously this is designed as a badge for a convention or something might be a cool thing to have at a comic con it's got some buttons on it up and down doesn't seem to be wanting to do anything at the moment but that's because it's got it's not powered up um there's the 2040 chip usb-c and that must be a power supply a little plug that you could put a lipo in lipo um, then you've got some outputs uh, looks like you've got i squared c out as well as uart out out transmit receive some other bits and a quite cool picture of a badger so that's nice i'm not going to play about with it in this video um, but it's just something i do want to try i've just got a little digital microscope okay so i'm going to see if i can have a look at what's on this all right so there's the there's the rp2040 but uh this is zoomed in there you go rp2040 there uh, some resistors looks like a timing crystal 1200 and there's the power in got some other transistors down the bottom Probably again power regulation or something to do with the USB-C there. The uh, ribbon cable to the screen. There's a very fetching, well I don't know what it is, octopus. There's the various, I remember what you called this. It reminds me of the, an edge connector in a way, although it doesn't go straight to the very edge. But there's all that bits and you see it's nicely made in Sheffield, nicely screen printed. And a little coil there by the looks of it as well so yeah that's the badger let's have a look at the other side and uh, see whether we can look at the ink i mean you can obviously see the pixels let's try and zoom in on them yeah you can see the pixels but it's very clear isn't it lovely as it says clock yeah so that's the badger 2040 i'll maybe try and uh, throw some code at that in another video when i get time so this was £12 delivered, not bad. You can buy it with an accessory kit. I don't know what the accessory kit is, but I didn't because it seemed expensive. Oh, it's a lanyard and a, and a lead and a battery pack. But yeah, well, not too excited about that. I'm glad I only paid £12 for mine. So that was one thing in the post bag. And what else came? Well, this is... Raspberry Pi related, but it's the Pico's big brother. These are some cooling chips for my Raspberry Pi Model B, which I'm now starting to use as Octoprint. I've been having quite good fun with using Octoprint. I've not used it before on the Pi, but using that on my printer. Got some nice prints out of it. This was also for Octoprint. I uh, printed this out and the idea was to put my Raspberry Pi camera in it. And it said, be very careful when you put it in, otherwise you will break your camera. And I thought I'm a trained professional, so of course I immediately broke the camera. I broke the little black plastic housing off it. So of course I tried to glue it back on with uh, resin and stuff. But anyway, let's just say I've ordered another one of these cameras. And the guy who made this was right. If you don't get it right, you will break your camera. So a word of warning there. And what else did i buy well got one of those as you do when you're ordering anything from pi Moroni because these are really cheap but the postage on them isn't so if you put them in another order and get them cheaply i noticed they're doing 
think five of these for 15 pounds or was it three for 15 no it was five for 15 pound pretty good um at the moment but that's if you're in the uk they're not raspberry pies of course are they they're pie picos it's a different thing but quite useful to get one of those whenever i order so i use adafruit and uh or adafruit however you want to say it i use their libraries a lot but i seldom buy from them but this was something that was got a 2040 in it it wasn't that expensive let's have a look at it yeah so this this looked at first glance like a usb key of some kind but it ran on a 2040 let's have a look at this under the magnifier there's our 2040 chip again and the crystal we've got a boot button and a reset button so we can do a boot like we can on the standard 2040 uh, definitely i squared c out on that connector um, i think this has got in in built memory that's a wind bond chip i don't know whether that's like the flash memory but wind bond do biases that might be the flash memory on it i think i saw another chip here that uh, looks to me like a power regulator oh that's quite interesting is there any uh doesn't look like there's any oh maybe that there I think that's probably a NeoPixel, an RGB LED by the looks of it. Yeah, I can see the three dies on it. Yeah, so that's quite a, a, a cool little device. I think that's going to be interesting to play with. I mean, I suppose you could turn it into like a rubber ducky or something like that, which are a bit naughty. Um, a hacking tool, you could uh, use it for that. Or maybe just use the USB for power. Who knows what you could do with this? This is uh, quite an interesting little device. And this is Trinkey. So it's a QT2040. So this this is quite an interesting device. I can't wait to start playing with this. Um, but if you look at it, I think we can program it. Yeah, we can program it in C, which I never got my head around how to do that. Uh, Circuit Python, very similar to MicroPython. Circuit Python, Adafruit's, Adafruit's favourite language. So yeah, so I just thought I'd share that with you because I haven't had time to do a normal video, but these may be some of the things uh, Raspberry Pi Pico related that I'll be working on in future videos. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, as always, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe. Bye. just going to plug it in and see what happens. It hacks my computer and takes over the world. Oh, oh, I love this. Lovely little RGB fade there.